Hey guys, it's Addison. Um, I'm gonna preface this by saying it is like 6 o'clock in the fucking morning. Um, Chris had an early shift today at the Gap where she's working now, and I think I woke up as she was like leaving because I, it sucks. I'm really fucking tired. Um, and after I make this, I'm probably gonna go back to bed. But, um, I thought that this was probably gonna be the only time I'm gonna be alone for a while, and I feel really awkward making videos when she's here. Um, not that she would, like, sit there quietly judging me or anything, it's just one of those things that I don't like doing. So, um, I thought I would make a video while she was out, and so, here we go. Um, I'm still unemployed. It sucks. I've been applying everywhere, haven't really gotten any callbacks. Chris is working at The Gap, which is really, really cool because The Gap has really awesome clothes and she gets a Wicked Sweet discount, but we still have to wait a while until that can be put to use because we have bills to pay. And it probably won't be until I get a job that we'll have extra money to spend on stuff, which blows. My parents want me to come home for Christmas. I talked to my mom, actually while I was trying to make this video previously, and I told her that I want to come in for part of January instead, and she seemed okay with it, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna be paying for half of my plane ticket, my brother's gonna be paying for the other half, hopefully. Otherwise I'm not gonna be going home. It's been weird because I've been on TV for like 11 or 12 weeks now, and um, my voice has obviously gotten a lot deeper, and I've talked to my mother and my father and my brother on the phone, and no one has said anything. Um, it's been kind of weird. I don't know if they're, like, willfully ignoring it or what, but it's, like, ridiculous. You can't ignore this. It's like, really? My rage response has become kind of problematic. I've always had anger management problems, but this is, a, like, new stuff going on. Um, it's taking a set amount of time for me to calm down afterwards, and being angry physically hurts now. Um, my chest gets all tight, and, um, my muscles get all tense, like they're waiting to spring into action now. Um, whereas before I would essentially, like, get really frustrated and want to cry, and now I just want to hit things, and I've been good and haven't hit things thus far, but it's been really annoying and aggravating that I have to, like, put myself in timeout, essentially. I'm probably gonna get TMI on you here, so if you're related to me or don't want to know about my sex life, you should probably skip to the end of the video. Okay, so, um, personal growth? Um, something that I was really, really excited about starting T for, and something that I'm still really excited about. Um, as a bit of a backstory, I always felt like kind of a freak, um, even when I was identifying as a girl, because my clit has always been a touch-free region. It was always super, super sensitive. It almost physically hurt to have it touched. And it sucked, because when most people think about having sex with a female-bodied person, at least most people that I slept with, they were like, oh, clits get people off. And that's true for a lot of people, but it wasn't true for me at all. I've never come from oral or any of that, and it always made me really dysphoric because I felt like I should have been able to. And so now that I've got more than just a nubbin down there, which is really fucking sweet, um, it's actually gotten to the point where it's not as sensitive that it hurts. Um, and it's, it's stopped hurting now, and I actually got my first real, legit blowjob the other day, and I came from it, and didn't have to have penetration, and it was kind of amazing. It kind of changed my life. Um, <laughs> so that's, that has been really cool, um, to see my body change, and the responses change in that way. It's been kind of affirming to me that my changes have come so quick, even on a low dose, um, and I know this isn't how other people feel, and I know that I'm not trying to undermine other people's experiences or identities, but for me personally, the fact that my body is taking to testosterone like a duck to water has made me feel that much more affirmed that I am making the right decision, 
that this is how my body is supposed to be, and this is how I'm supposed to be. And that's something that I'm really thankful for, because I feel like if I hadn't gotten the changes on a low, low dose like I am, um, I would have been a lot more concerned um, in terms of questioning whether I was making the right decision and all of those things, because you all know that I had a, I had a pretty rough time coming to terms with the decision to go on T. I had a lot of concerns um, and a lot of um, things that I wasn't quite sure about in terms of getting on T and physically changing my body when um, there may have been a very, very tiny chance of me actually being able to be comfortable in the body that I had. Um, so the fact that my body has taken to it like it has has been really affirming and has made it a lot less mentally challenging to deal with. Um, I still have a lot of dysphoria about different things. Um, I get weird social dysphoria about my chest, um, and I am kind of dysphoric about, you know, some other stuff, but it's made it so that I don't have that dysphoria as well as all the mental concerns of, well, is this the right thing for me? Um, because now I know that, yeah, this was the best decision for me. Other changes that are happening, my facial hair is coming in, I have little baby sideburn growing, um, I've got little baby hairs along the bottom of my chin, some soul patch growth, and then the stash, which is aggravating because I don't want it. Um, my belly hair has also crawled up my stomach and done this weird mushroom cloud thing under my chest, um, which is interesting. Um, I'll be interested to see, once I get on a higher dose, if I get super hairy. Um, my dad's not a really hairy dude, but my brother is, but he's my half-brother, so, um, I guess we'll find out eventually. Um, I wouldn't mind being hairy, but I also don't mind what I've got. I mean, it'd be nice if it showed up on camera, but that's about it. I'm really fucking tired, so I'm gonna go to bed. But, uh, I just wanted to make y'all a video and update you a little bit about what's going on. And, um, I guess I'll talk to y'all later.